So Heiko, tell me what excites you most about EV technology? I mean, first of all, EV technology, the powertrain uh, is a complete different torque development. Uh, so the feeling of the car, even sitting in a small car with a small powertrain is always very exciting because it has almost full uh, torque from, from the zero get-go to acceleration. So it is, it is a, it's a different drive feeling that you will experience when you drive an electric vehicle. And also, of course, you want to do something for the environment, uh, and it should be environmental friendly. At least we know electrification uh, is locally zero em uh, emissions. So for big cities, uh, electric vehicle is uh, very exciting because uh, you have no air pollution. Yeah, the most important thing about uh, EV technology to understand is that it only does make sense uh, if you are charging a battery with CO2 neutral um, energy. Because uh, at the end, only way why we're doing this is for a CO2, uh, from, a, from a big picture for the CO2 reduction. Uh, and um, we have to make sure that uh, the energy that the car receives at, at the end is carbon neutral. Um, if you, for example, would choose uh, to produce the energy from coal uh, and then uh, charge the electric vehicle, you would produce even more CO2 than a combustion engine uh, vehicle would uh, today admit into the air. What would you say is the biggest challenge towards transitioning to electrification? Biggest challenge for uh, electric vehicles, as I see today, is the infrastructure, so to say, the charging infrastructure. Because the technology for the power drain and the battery is already there, it's in place, we have been developing it for many years, uh, so we are good there. But um, the infrastructure where you char charge your car, this is the biggest challenge. Because at the end, it's a hand egg thing anyways, because uh, the way you have to think of is there's not enough cars on the road, uh, then no one will build the infrastructure to charge the cars. And if there's no charging infrastructure, people won't buy the car. So we have to basically develop both in parallel. The car is ready, the infrastructure not quite as much. So we need to really come up to speed to uh, put more charging points and spots out there. Also have solutions for people with their own home and their garage, a wall box, for example. So this is where the challenge is right now. And we really have to um, um, take care about that. Last question then, how important do you think it is for the EV transition that people understand the EV technology? From the car itself, people will get quite easily used to electric vehicles because at the end, it drives like an automatic car. You go in, you start to put the uh, hit the start button, car is rolling off and it will drive you nicely around. What you will have to understand, and this is where typically people struggle a little bit in the beginning, is that you have to do some range management. Uh, what I mean with range management is it will not be the same than with the conventional powertrain car where you have pretty much unlimited range, because typically after 800 kilometers or 600 miles, you will find a gas station and then you will receive your energy within minutes. So you have to plan that out a little bit more for, for long distance driving and even also for short distance driving, plan and, and uh, really coordinate when do you want to charge your car, what, what is the, the best spot to do so, how long it will take. I think this will take for the people a while to get used to, but since I've been driving electric vehicles for quite some time, you rather easily and quickly get used to it.